Hello, good day, my dancer friends. So we're gonna work today on some basic turns that you'll see in oriental style belly dance. So um, these can be used in any style of dance, but I am primarily in more the um, Egyptian, Lebanese, oriental style. Um, there's been a strong influence by Western dance, by uh, Russian dance, ballet, and so you see that in a lot of your modern belly dance. So if you are new to turns, or maybe you don't like turns, a lot of people get dizzy or find them challenging, don't worry. Um, they become easier with practice, and we're just going to go through a couple nice basic ones today. So um, you're probably at home and maybe you don't have access to a big, beautiful space like this. No worries. Uh, what you can do is uh, we'll be doing a lot of moves that are just close. Uh, they don't travel a lot, but do make sure if you're going to turn that you have maybe some ballet slippers or something that gives you a little bit of slipperiness. Um, I do not suggest turning on a lot of really rough surfaces like concrete or carpet, but we'll just do our best and we'll go step by step. So the first uh, turn I would like to share with you is called the crossover turn. And it's just like how it sounds. And then we'll add some pretty arms. You cross one foot over and then you kind of swivel around to face the front, or you can just do a half turn as I'll show in a moment. Let's try that a couple times to each side. So you can just put your hands on your hips for now, or if you wanna do something fancier, please go ahead, cross and swivel. Cross, swivel around and cross, swivel around. So as you can see, this move does not travel that much. It's just a nice way to uh, move around through the space. So an uh, arm pattern I really like to do that I think is really cute and pretty is sometimes I will cross the hands in front of the body and then as I swivel, I'll bring them up above the head. Yeah, up above the head in a temple position. So what that would look like, we would cross one foot, arms come down and up. Same thing other side, cross, down and up. One more each way, cross, down and up, and cross, down and up. So that's a lovely little variation you can do of the crossover turn. Uh, with those, we crossed over to the front. You can also cross to the back, which I've seen. I, I was taught um, this was called a reverse turn. And again, you can do a full turn with this or a half turn. So with that, you would cross, kind of pivot almost. I'm doing... Um, like cross, drop the heels, and then kind of swivel on the heels to the front. So you cross, and then unwind the legs. Other foot, cross it back, and unwind. Let's try that again on the other leg. Cross it back, swivel. Yeah, um, this one I really like. You can, um, with any of these, you can add an arm pattern, but you can also add a hip movement. So one that I think is really cute, you can bring your hands out, is doing little omis. So that really adds a bit of that belly dance flavor. So you can omi around as you swivel, which is fun. Omi, swivel. And with that, which I'm not gonna break down a lot, these are more just ideas. Um, I like to do my omi to the direction I'm turning. So, woo. <laughs> so that's always a fun little option. Um, I did wanna show you how you can combine both the crossover and the reverse into one turn. So you can do, as I've mentioned, a half turn. So you could do a half turn if you take this leg or probably your left if you're mirroring me. Crossover, turn to the right to face the back. And then from here, you keep going the direction you're turning. You take your right foot back and swivel to the front. So again, cross, face the back, keep going, cross back, face the front. Let's try that the other way. So you're gonna cross your right leg in front, turn to the left, unwind, and then take that left foot back and around. So again, 
Cross, face the back. Cross back, face the front. One more time. Cross front, face the back. Cross back, face the front. Does that make sense? The reason why I like this one is you can do a really beautiful arm pattern with it, which is a variation on something called the barrel turn. So for that, what you're doing basically is your arms are coming up and down and it goes along with the legs. So for example, if we take our left leg, the same arm as leg, uh, right arm is up, we're gonna cross over, face the back, both arms come up, and then our right arm, same one as leg, crosses down and up. So again, if you were wondering what that is, same arm is leg out, crosses front, face the back, back, face the front. One more time on that side, uh, down and up, and down and up. Isn't that pretty? Down and down. Let's try that on the other side. So same arm as leg, swoop, same arm as leg, swoop. Same arm as leg, swoop. Same arm as leg, swoop. One more time. Same arm as leg, swoop. Same arm as leg. So you get that idea. Sometimes that gets blurry. All right. <laughs> so that's a fun idea for a turn. Another one that you see a lot in uh, belly dance and of course in Western dance like ballet is the chene turn or I've heard it called in belly dance the three point turn. So that one does typically travel side to side, front, in a circle, wherever you need it to. And so for that one, in ballet it looks kind of like this. You go front, right? So it's, it's much more on the toes, which you will see in Oriental dance too, as it's taken a lot of influence from ballet. But um, for my beginners, what I would suggest is what you're gonna do is spot. So you're gonna look where you're going, which let's say this direction is where we're going. Our hands will be like a little basket. They'll open when we turn, close when we come in, and that's gonna help us stand nice and tall and build that momentum. So we're gonna step towards the way we're going, look at that wall, flip to the back, hands come in, flip to the front and touch. And then we would do the same to the other direction. So we open the hands looking towards our wall, spot, flip the head around quickly, step and touch. So we could spend a solid 20 minutes just drilling the three point turn, especially if it's new to you. But don't get discouraged. I would say practice at home. And just like this, um, think about it as you step out, you flip the whole body to the back, flip the whole body to the front, and touch. And you keep it small. Uh, a lot of times when my students are new, they tend to make it really big. And it, it takes up a lot of energy and time to do that. So just think small around yourself small around yourself. Um, and also if you're prone to dizziness and again you don't like turning, the good news is that in belly dance we don't tend to turn quite so much as you might in ballet or jazz. So feel free to maybe do your turn and then go into a movement. Do something still. Give yourself a break and then you can go into your next move. So um, one thing I did want to show before we moved on to the last move is for my more intermediate dancers that are very familiar with three point turns, I did want to give you a few options for beautiful arms because who doesn't like that? So I do have a few little tips and tricks and secrets I've learned over the years that I think make for a really graceful, unique arm pattern. So if you use these, I hope you'll give me a shout out because I really like them and use them a lot. So one of them is, as we were, uh, I was mentioning before, our basket arms open, close, open, close as we do our chene. See if, to the direction you're turning, see how it looks if you take one arm straight up. So instead of just open, close, you'd open up and close. Open up and close. And I'll just show you real quick how that looks. It's really beautiful. And you can just kind of throw that in for added drama. Right? Hopefully you can see that. I'll do it one more time. Here. Mm 
right? So that's a fun little variation, taking the arm up. One more that I really like to share with you that I saw and learned from a jazz style dance is uh, again, working with the direction we're going, which in this case will be here. Take the arms in a little spiral, one to the front, one behind you. This is gonna create this beautiful kind of spiral effect as you'll see here. Isn't that pretty? So we'll do again. I love that one. So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, those are a few of my little special trademark moves that I wanted to share with you. So one last thing, uh, and then you can practice all you like. Uh, another thing is um, in ballet we do actual full turns and there is a belly dancer version of this. So full turn in ballet or jazz you would prepare by bringing your leg out to the side, one arm forward, one out to the side in what's called third position and then you would turn bringing the leg either up to the knee, this is called jazz passe, or out to the side which is a ballet um, variation. Right? You would turn. So. Don't worry, we're not gonna do a lot of fast turns like that. That's more of a ballet move. But for belly dance, it's very common in oriental style in particular, that maybe a dancer's doing cool stuff, they're down low, they're doing things, and then they lift up into that passe. So being able to lift up onto the toes at any given moment, especially if you're down low, and then it comes unexpectedly, can really add some drama and variation to your dancing. So here's a little drill for brand new beginner turners that helps you do this. So we're gonna utilize that passe, jazz passe. So if you can see this, all we're gonna do is go in a circle, quarter turn at a time, and bring the toe up. It can even touch the floor if you prefer trying to work on that balance. So what we'll do is we'll point our toe out to the side, bring our hands out, prepare, bring your hand here, and then just a little swivel, one fourth of a turn to this direction, up and down. And then we repeat around in a circle four times. So now we go point, prepare, face the back wall, and down, point, prepare, face the side, and down one more, point, prepare, face the front, and down. So. This is our little drill that we do to prepare for turns and just work on our balance. And what we do is the first time around, we go just that little quarter turn, just lift, nice and controlled, little lift. And really, for belly dance, that may be all that you need to just add that little bit of something. Uh, but if you want to continue this further, and you would do it to each side, we'll do the other side in a moment. The second time around, you try half turn, half turn, point, prepare, half turn. And it'll be slow, just give yourself some time to prepare and be patient with yourself. Turning is difficult. One other thing, you want to look where you're going. So if you're here and you turn, look at that back wall, right? Turn, look at that front wall that's gonna really help you to not be dizzy. So let's try that little mini drill, quarters and then halves to the other leg. Lift out, prepare, quarter turn, and down. Lift out, prepare, quarter turn, and down. Lift out, prepare, quarter turn, and down. Lift out, prepare, quarter turn. Let's try half, out, and down. Face the back wall, down, out, prepare, face the front. One more time. So the one arm that goes front is the same one that goes back. And down, out, prepare, back, and down. So yeah, I hope this has given you a few ideas. I love dancing with you. Thank you so much for your time. Keep at it, be patient, be kind to yourself. You're doing a great job. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching, bye.